Mobility work is for most people more of a love-hate relationship. Most people do not actually enjoy stretching or working on their mobility if they have the chance to do some hypertrophy exercises, building some muscle. And I get it. Stretching can be a little bit daunting, a little bit uninteresting, especially if you have to do static stretches all the time and if you do not know how to maximize the potential of stretching exercises. So today I just want to share two mobility exercises that are going to help you advance immensely because these two exercises are what I call peak efficiency exercises. They have multiple benefits and if done correctly they can take care of almost your entire mobility requirements with just those two exercises. So if you're ready let's go and have some fun. Starting out with to set this whole thing up, we will get ourselves some kind of mat or anything that is soft enough so you can put your knees on them. We're gonna get ourselves a light weight and we're gonna need to work as closely to a wall as possible. Now, to get into the right position for the couch stretch, we're gonna move backwards, starting with the left side, just so you can see how it actually works. We're gonna push our lower leg all the way against the wall behind us. I would recommend using something a little bit softer. If you don't have though, a wall will suffice. Now, push back as much as you can. We already have the first benefit, which is extreme ankle extension. We are lengthening our tibialis. We are working on our ankle mobility from here. Now, the second thing we need to do is step forward with our right leg, just like so. And now we're in a somewhat similar lunging starting position. We already have a nice little stretch in our quadriceps, as well as our hip flexors on the left side. And now there are multiple things we can do. One, we can use this as a static stretch for our hip flexors and our quads, which means that we just wanna push forward with our glutes, flexing our glutes and our lower back, and that is gonna lengthen our lower abdominals, our hip flexors and our quadriceps. Now, keep in mind, the more we push forward, the more stretch we have on the top here in our hip flexors. You can also, however, use it for a quadriceps dominant stretch by instead of pushing forward, actually pushing backwards. This is gonna move the stretch from here down to your quads, and now you can switch. Hold statically, hip flexor dominant, hold statically, quadriceps dominant. And you also notice we are working on our ankle flexion on the foot that is flat on the ground, meaning now we have ankle extension here and we're working on ankle flexion here, meaning the closer we move with our knees over our toes, the more flexion we have. That takes care of the static ones. The next level of the couch stretch, we're gonna use it as a dynamic mobility exercise. We have our foot flat on the ground and we're gonna switch between a hip flexor dominant stretch and a quadriceps dominant stretch by pushing backwards as much as we can. Now we have ankle extension in both feet and when pushing forward, the tiniest bit of flexion as well. Push back, quadriceps stretch, push forward, hip flexor stretch. Now we have a static and dynamic stretch and now we can add to this exercise even more by making it a weighted mobility exercise. We're gonna grab ourselves a kettlebell or a dumbbell, any sort of weight will do something that is safely in your hands. We're gonna elevate our arm, extend it fully, and now we also have a stretch in our chest, in our anterior delts, and in our stomach, which means that now we have a complete anterior chain stretch, starting from our ankles, down our tibialis, up our quadriceps, hip flexors, abdominals, pectorals, delts as well. Push forward, we're lengthening our anterior chain and push backwards. We're putting more pressure and stretch on our quadriceps. Now we can play around a bit. Move forward, arch your back as much as you can. Move backwards, extend your arm and you can either hold statically once more or you can move dynamically. And that just goes to show that a single exercise can have not only multiple levels, but also a myriad of benefits if done correctly. And we can always progressively overload or basically progressively increase the intensity for almost every single exercise. 
But the couch stretch specifically is absurdly effective in opening up your entire anterior chain, helping you work on ankle flexion and extension. And over time, it's basically one of the most effective exercises you can use the further you advance with your own mobility work. If you want to work statically, 30 seconds per stretch, take a short break and repeat. If you want to work dynamically, then go for a half a minute to a full minute per round and three to four rounds. That goes for both the static as well as the dynamic stretches. Now our next peak efficiency exercise is one that I have demonstrated multiple times and I have been practicing religiously every single day for probably the past full decade and that would be which again will have multiple levels and even though it's a lower body dominant stretch I will show you how to add upper body mobility as well so you can use this as a full body mobility exercise just like the couch stretch we're gonna start out with our feet parallel in an extended position and all we need to do is bend one knee and extend the other leg having a nice little stretch in our adductors and opening our hips two very important things before we advance from here if you have your feet parallel, you're gonna have a more adductor dominant stretch. If you turn one foot up in the extended leg when switching, then you have more of a hamstring dominant stretch. So now you can switch it out. Adductors or hamstrings. Now that we've had a short anatomy session, we're gonna increase our range of motion. The next level would be bringing your hip joint to the same height as your knee joint or slightly below that without your feet leaving the ground. So now we have some nice ankle flexion here and this is gonna take care of the missing ankle flexion we had from the couch stretch. So both together are gonna to be amazing for your ankles, your knees, your hips and your entire body basically. We're gonna switch it up, hip crease to the same height as our knees, feet flat and parallel now we can move on to level number three, which is going to be a fully seated Cossack stretch, meaning we're gonna raise our heel, sit down all the way. Now we're gonna open up our foot upwards so we can move that stretch from our adductors all the way to our hamstrings. Now there are also two ways to switch sides. One, you move up all the way and back down again, which is gonna add a little bit more adductor and hamstring flexibility, or you stay very low with your hips and push sideways, which is also gonna help you open up your hips a lot more, but it's gonna take the focus off the hamstring stretch until you are fully extended here once more. And now we can move on to the next level. We're gonna switch sides, either low or high, depending on your mobility needs. And now we're gonna grab left hand to the left foot, and pull our feet closer to our upper body, lengthening our foot musculature, stretching it out, having more of a stretch in our Achilles as well as in our gastric and soleus, adding even more stretch to our hamstrings, and we're pulling as close as we can. Switch sides, either high or low, and pull in. Switch sides, either high or low, and pull in, but there are still multiple levels left for this exercise. Next level, we're gonna switch it up and this time we have our right hand behind the right leg because we're gonna cross over having even more mobility and now we're adding spinal rotation as well as the tiniest bit of latissimus and back stretch as well, just like so, before we switch either high or low Left hand behind the left knee, right hand grabs the, grabs, grabs the left foot, pull it in and switch and pull it in. Moving us to the next level. Now here we gotta be really careful. We're gonna switch sides and this time we're gonna bring our knee all the way down to the ground and sit our butt down completely. Now we're rolling over our toes. We are in complete ankle flexion. We are lengthening our Achilles tendon as well. And we have a nice little stretch in the backside here and opening up our hips. We have a nice little stretch in our hamstrings as well. This is gonna help us open up our hips even more. Now, be very careful when reversing this movement. Take your time, switch down into a deep squat on the other side, slowly bring your knee down first, and after that, you can sit down all the way. Now, to add to this exercise, we're gonna fix either our hands on the ground or 
our lower arms on the ground. This will totally depend on your own mobility. So if you can only put your hands down, we're gonna keep them fixated here. We're gonna sit down all the way, come up and sit down all the way. The other level would look like this. Arms on the ground, move up, sit down all the way, move up and sit down all the way. This is gonna add some back mobility as well. And this is gonna force us to actually work through our end range of motion when it comes to our lower body flexibility. So this one is pretty advanced, very careful when working on that because you can hurt your knees, you can hurt your hips. So take your time with this one, which moves us to the next level. And we only have two left, don't worry about it. This time, again, right hand behind our right leg, left arm all the way up. And now we're gonna push our hips upward into that pseudo bridge position. Now we're lengthening our entire anterior chain again, but what we're also doing is strengthening our entire posterior chain. And now we also have a stretch in our shoulders and in our chest. And then we're gonna move forward, slowly reverse, move up, Move to the side, left hand behind the left leg, right arm up and push up all the way, lengthening our entire anterior chain from our toes all the way to our fingertips before reversing and moving to the other side. So now with the Cossack stretch, we had posterior chain, we had anterior chain, we have a combination of strength as well as endurance, especially if you do this dynamically for multiple rounds after another. And now we can get to the final level of this exercise, which will be a weighted Cossack. Now we're gonna start in our first position, level number one, feet parallel, switch. Level number two, hip crease down to the same height as your knee or the tiniest bit lower. Next up, we're gonna switch sides, open up to our hamstrings instead of our adductors, all the way. And next level, turn your upper body all the way up, turn your upper body all the way up. Now we have a lot of balance requirements as well. Don't forget that the next level is knee down to the ground, butt down to the ground. Now we're gonna require a lot of strength to get up here. If you cannot do it without a weight and without your hands, then try this first. And then afterwards, start learning how to sit down all the way. This is gonna help us immensely when it comes to hip flexor strength, which is one of the things that most people don't work at. They work on their hip mobility, they rarely work on their hip flexor strength directly. So next level we have sit down all the way. Now we're gonna turn right hand to the left foot before we get up again. Sit down all the way, left hand to the right foot and all the way up. And don't forget, of course, we can have the low Cossack stretch helping us open up our hips as widely as possible. And there we have it. Basically with just two exercises, we've been able to pretty much work on our entire body flexibility, as well as adding some strength and some endurance and balance to the whole thing, making it a complete mobility workout with just two exercises, which is pretty insane. And trust me on this, those aren't the only two peak efficiency exercises that we have. And we're gonna go through multiple of them. Maybe we'll make a series out of this. But with that said, sadly, that's all the time I've left for you today. However, if you like the video, like the video and subscribe and check out other videos on this channel because we literally have new ones every single day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Captain Cairo, peace out.